if you've been depressed for too long. Save me to shout at you. I'm sorry if I shout at you. I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful month. Now, I am dressed in black. I am glammed up. Why? Because black lives matter. And what? Black is beautiful. Yes, I am. And yes, you are if you're black and you're watching this. If I say that, don't feel like because you're not black, you're not beautiful. Because I know some people are gonna be like, oh, mommy, you're so beautiful. But it's not about you guys. It's about black people. Black lives matter. Black is beautiful. All that black, 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 black. So the reason why I'm even addressing this video and I want to make this video is because I personally do not feel comfortable making any other video if I do not address this video. Now, some of you might think, oh, you're two weeks late or you're a week behind. Black lives matter was last week. Black lives matter was two weeks ago. If you feel like that, then I'm here to tell you that you're the problem. Why? Because Black Lives Matter is not a movement. Black Lives Matter is not something that happened yesterday. Black Lives Matter should be a lifestyle because all lives cannot matter until Black Lives Matter. Mm. Now I'm just gonna share something small, okay? And I don't know if you guys can relate to me. I don't know if I'm the only person that felt this way or has been feeling this way. Living in the UK, I feel like you're shielded to a lot of things. I feel like you're kind of in like your own little bubble because police brutality is not in your face. It becomes a thing where you become desensitized to it. And that's exactly the word that I would use to describe myself when I saw those cases. However, when I saw George Floyd and his whole situation, I felt like it all came like pouring down on me. Like my heart ached, I cried. Like it was such a burden on me. The main reason that I'm literally making this video is because I want to share ways on which we can help the Black Lives Matter movement to be not just a movement, but a lifestyle, okay? There's so many things that we can do. Number one, sign petitions, okay? Everyone knows that there's petitions going around the sign petitions and personally speaking I know they can be so long sometimes but the thing is they're not actually long they literally take two seconds but just the thought of clicking it and then writing your name every single time especially if your phone doesn't auto you know fill everything in it can just be a little bit long however guys every little helps hashtag no Tesco the Breonna Taylor case literally got reopened. Why? Because we stood together as a unit, okay, and there was power in numbers, and all the petitions that we did, every single name that was on that petition, it counted towards opening the case. So I'm literally here to tell you guys that there was power in your petition, there is power in your signature, okay? The next thing that I want to talk about is if there have been protests, attend the protest if you can, okay? I know that we're in quarantine, I know that coronavirus is still about, but that's even a ugh. Don't even get me started with that one. If you are strapped up, you are protective, you got that PPE or all that good, good stuff, then go if you feel comfortable. When you see people coming together and you see the great numbers and you just see them marching, you see the signs, I don't know, like, it's just an amazing moment. I feel like that's what's powerful about protests. You look at them and you're just like, wow, so many people are coming together for this one cause. And it kind of makes you want to educate yourself so you understand why they are coming together for that one cause. If you do attend, please be safe, please be cautious please remain respectful and peaceful so yeah the next thing that i wanted to speak about was supporting black owned businesses this might be a bit controversial but i do not believe that we should support all black owned businesses i believe that you should support the black businesses that are producing good quality products okay i would never even ask someone to go and support a business if their products aren't good regardless you guys know how i feel about promoting things that don't even bang like that's just how i am if the product isn't good what's the point of supporting it Give them like constructive criticism on how to get better and then when they do get better, support them. That's just my perspective on things. When you deepen like this, you're actually going to have a negative effect on black people. You're going to have so many people supporting black owned businesses just for them to tear them down because the product doesn't bang. And the thing is, in this generation, in this day and age, this whole cancel culture and the fact that some people are so, so quick to tear people down. You want to be a company that is producing good things. If you're a black owned business, your customer service should be good okay if we're going to be real with ourselves and we're not going to you know beat around the bush there's such a negative connotation you know pertaining towards customer service and black people i thought to fly oh you guys know i hate flies i'm not saying that other races don't do it okay don't go you know putting words in my mouth but sometimes it could just be impatient sometimes it can be rude and you know 
it doesn't make you welcoming and people don't want to shop there okay and what we can do is we can change the narrative okay show them that customer service is good show them that you are welcoming show them that you do genuinely like them buying from your business buy because the customer service is good buy because the quality is amazing okay so into them because of that not just because they're black okay because that's just not going to do anything for them us as black people okay we need to stop thinking that because another person is black they're wearing titles to cheaper things if something is 110 pounds pay 110 pounds because you'll you will you will gladly pay 110 pounds tonight let's tap into that you happily spend 497 pounds on uh the queens that's such a random number but you would happily do that and you wouldn't go and you wouldn't ask selfridges for a 20 percent off you wouldn't ask selfridges don't even do cheeky 10 percent off for students okay and you wouldn't even complain you wouldn't even open your mouth and say oh can i get 10 percent off at the till because you know the look that they'll give you if you want to support someone support them with your heart if you want to support someone support them properly the next point that i wanted to make is that we should aspire to be changes we should aspire to be world changes in this world okay if this movement hasn't taught you that you you should aspire to do more and inspire to you know have an effect and leave a mark on this world that i don't know what will and you pastor derek told me this amazing quote he literally said we all want to wait for someone to start that one thing and then we'll jump on the bandwagon he related it to throwing a big rock in a pond okay and watching the ripple effect however if we were to all throw our little stones into the pond you're going to see a massive ripple effect you're going to see ripple effects at different times you're going to see ripple effects at different corners of the ocean or the pond you're gonna see so many different ripple effects that in the grand scheme of things is gonna cause a massive ripple effect and I believe that that is so powerful and it says a lot it goes to show that guys we can literally do things in our own corner okay it takes one conversation it takes one you know one picture one quote one Instagram post that can change someone's perspective it's not all about being the person that puts on the petition or creates the petition yes it's amazing to follow those things however I don't feel like because you're not doing those things you can't do anything at all okay there are things that you can do in your own, own corner your own respective fields that can make a massive difference another example that i literally want to bring up in relation to that is if you know you want to be a teacher if you know you're passionate about teaching then be a teacher who aspires to to, to leave a mark okay who aspires to teach the truth who doesn't just aspire to teach about henry the eighth okay we get it Anne Boleyn, jane seymour the only one that gave him a son we actually get it but at the end of the day what is henry the eighth going to do for me be a teacher who wants to enforce change who wants to change the curriculum who wants to teach about the wind rush who wants to teach about big massive movements that have literally shaped why england is the way it is like teach about the real history don't teach about the sugar coated stuff the things that have no effect I believe that there is so much power in nurture okay there is so much power in how you bring people up and the things that you teach people because the things you teach people from young are the things that they're going to take with them until they're old there was this video about this lady who literally said i'm going to teach my grandkids to hate you You know how powerful that is and how disgusting it is at the same time you're teaching your grandchildren to hate black people and at the end of the day you come to realize that it's not even the grandchildren's fault if they were to grow up hating black people it won't be their fault because at that time anyways because i do believe that there's a certain time where you should think for yourself and you should use your moral compass to know that some things aren't right and some things are wrong that's just my own personal opinion however if the child is five and they start you know calling black children niggers because the, they've seen the, the grandma do it and the grandma has basically made it seem acceptable. You cannot blame that five-year-old because they have been nurtured, they have been groomed to be racist, okay? I'm sorry, but it's literally that deep. It's not our duty to, however, if we do want there to be change, we need to educate those that cannot educate themselves. We need to educate those that, you know, don't go on their laptop and don't literally Google the same things you Google to find out um, about the Black Lives Matter and to find out about how police brutality is targeted towards black people. There are some people that are so naive, you know, and so ignorant and it, 
if they want to engage in a conversation with you my personal advice to you would be to send them a documentary or send them information pertaining black lives matter because i'm not talking to someone out of a place of ignorance i'm not talking to someone that's going to give me ideas and ideology based on their naivety i want to speak to someone who has literally been educated who has got the same knowledge that i have got so we can talk from an intellectual point of view there's no way that someone's going to watch a documentary and then they're going to come to you and disregard every single thing that they've seen in the documentary that's absurd and if they are like that then each of their own in your school with your friends with your colleagues educate them um, another thing that I do want to say is how we need to infiltrate the system whatever field you are in okay be someone that has a voice if you're in the engineering field and you're a black woman you don't understand that you being in that field is encouraging other black women to want to aspire to be in that field the more of you that are in there the better because you get to start shaping people's minds you get to teach people your culture you get to teach people why some of the things that they're saying is wrong some of the things that they're doing is wrong that is literally the ripple effect that I was talking about in your own respective areas just make sure you're being proactive make sure you're actually reading up on these things I know it's a lot I know that a lot of the times like you feel like you're feeding yourself with negativity but at the end of the day fuel yourself with knowledge okay you need to know what's going on you need to be ed educated if you guys know me I hate the news why because I just feel like it's bad vibes stay far away from me we need to actually be educating ourselves and exposing ourselves to these things because these things shape us I hope you guys really liked this video I hope you guys took something from this video I hope it was educational I know it's not my usual funny you know what to do, do, do video but at the end of the day we've got to be serious sometimes like this is a serious matter and i do believe that a lot of us need to be more woke more aware on what is going on in our environment but yeah guys i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to turn on the push notification bell stay blessed stay beautiful and have a wonderful rest of the day bye guys